It's Wolf and it's another 15 first impressions. This one is about the Star Wars Frontlines mod for Call of Duty 4. This is another mod by Freddy Hodges who also did the Call of Duty Rio and Call of Duty 4 Frontlines Forever mods which I previously did 15 first impressions videos on. This is the last of the three mods that was sort of included in Call of Duty Rio. When I did the 15 first impressions about Call of Duty Rio I think I mentioned how there were two other mods that were also available from the start menu of that which were Frontlines Forever and Star Wars. I've already talked about Rio I've already talked about Frontlines forever, so now it's time to talk about Star Wars. So from what I can tell and what I've read of Hodges's posts and stuff like that, it seems like this is actually like a mod of a mod or like an add-on to another mod, kind of like how he described Rio as sort of a mod of Frontlines forever. So this is actually like an add-on to the Galactic Warfare Call of Duty 4 mod, which you've probably heard of before because it's really well known as the Star Wars mod. So in that sense, it's probably appropriate to consider this also a 15 first impressions of galactic warfare because i've never really played that on its own anyway so hajas has sort of a frontline series going on with frontlines forever in rio and there might be other ones too and although at first if you've not played any of his other mods you might not know what i'm talking about once you actually play some of them you start to kind of understand the specific gameplay style of frontlines and how it kind of it is call of duty 4 but it builds on it and is very a, a very particular form of Call of Duty 4. So Star Wars Frontlines kind of takes the Galactic Warfare mod and makes a Frontlines version of that mod. On Hodges' website he's got a list of the various changes that he made. It seems like Hodges added and changed a handful of things about Galactic Warfare to make this specifically Frontlines version of it and on his website he's got a list of the changes and stuff that he made different about it but some of the things that stuck out to me were that he has bots on the server so that way you can kind of always play it and it's got hardcore damage on and also some stuff about random rotations of different maps and game types and stuff like that and in playing it even though it looks significantly different than Rio and Frontlines Forever because there's so much Star Wars theming to it it does play very similarly to those so if you've played those before and you're interested in playing more of that type of gameplay or just like Call of Duty with Star Wars stuff this is not a bad way to do so in the bots thing in particular is very very useful because then you can play it whenever you want and even if it's just against bots at least you can still play it. I also wanted to talk about how I downloaded this and how I'm pretty sure this mod actually functions because it's a little bit different than the other two Frontlines mods that I've covered before with Rio and Frontlines Forever. So I downloaded this much like I downloaded Frontlines Forever. I downloaded it through Call of Duty Rio because Call of Duty Rio has the buttons on its front page for this and Frontlines Forever. So much like Frontlines Forever, I chose Star Wars on the Call of Duty Rio homepage and it connected me to a server which downloaded all of the stuff that I needed to have downloaded and put me into a game and as I said it played a lot like Frontlines Forever in Rio where it was a server with bots hardcore mode various objectives that kind of stuff by the way the gameplay in this video is of search and destroy mode at least I think it was called search and destroy but it had unlimited lives so I don't know if it was like actually search and destroy but anyway that's all of the gameplay in this video because that match went on for quite a while but anyway it downloaded everything put me into the match but the weird thing about this mod is when you exit out of the actual Hodges server for Star Wars Frontlines, it just brings you back to normal Galactic Warfare, so far as I can tell. Now, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure how to rejoin the Star Wars Frontlines server from Galactic Warfare itself, because at first I thought that Star Wars Frontlines was like its own separate mod, like Rio and Frontlines Forever were, but actually, as I said, I'm pretty sure that this just downloads Galactic Warfare and then puts you into a server specifically set up for Star Wars Frontlines. So, when you exit out of that server, and you go back to just normal Galactic Warfare, there's not a specific button to join into Hodges' server like there is for Frontlines Forever and Call of Duty Rio. I feel like there must be some sort of way to rejoin the server directly from the actual Galactic Warfare menu rather than the Rio menu because that would be a little bit strange to have to join the Star Wars mod through the Rio mod, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much because it's kind of just menus anyway. Either way, it probably takes about the same amount of time to load into the match. But nonetheless, I just wanted to note that. As for the actual Star Wars theming of the mod, it's really cool. I'm not sure how much Hajus and Star Wars Frontlines actually has to do with that, or if that's more so like modding it into a specific mode of playing than actual content added, so not really sure who did what for that compared to Galactic Warfare versus Star Wars Frontlines, but either way, the actual Star Wars stuff is really impressive. I remember a long time ago when the original Galactic Warfare mod came out and there was some YouTubers who were covering it and stuff. 
I was super impressed with it back then because it looks like a totally different game really it looks like a Star Wars game that was made by the Call of Duty developers and playing it it feels like that way too it feels like Call of Duty 4 but everything about it is modified to be Star Wars ish like there is almost nothing in this mod that is like accidentally left over from the original Call of Duty 4 all the weapons have the different names the perks have different names for Star Wars stuff the grenades have different names for Star Wars stuff all the maps look like they're from Star Wars all the character models are from Star Wars like it's just super impressive the amount of stuff that Galactic Warfare adds to Call of Duty 4 and I think it's also important specifically to consider when the original Galactic Warfare mod actually came out I couldn't find the exact release date but it looks like originally around 2010 or 2011 2011 I think is when the final version of Galactic Warfare came out at that time and for a pretty long time thereafter there was sort of a drought of multiplayer Star Wars games you had Battlefront 1 and 2 that came out in 2004 and 2005 I think that's what Wikipedia said but then after that there really wasn't any big battle focused Star Wars video games for a pretty long time until I guess like the new versions of Battlefront 1 and 2 and so this was like a pretty big deal at the time because it was sort of the only multiplayer Star Wars thing that came out for a while even though it was a little bit of a pain to play because it was PC exclusive being a mod and it was also a mod for another game so you had to have the other game too but anyway I think that just about concludes all of my impressions on both Star Wars Frontlines and the underlying Galactic Warfare mod so thank you guys for watching the video I will see you in other stuff in the future and here is the rest of the gameplay
Neutralized.
Mission destroyed. Destroy the objective. We've got a bomb. We're capturing point B. Thank you. 